so I'm here because we were asked by a company out of Miami that runs a couple of radios antennas to uh, come up with a solution to be able to fly a handheld spectrometer and be able to measure the signals coming off their towers and uh, be able to overlay them on a map. So what we did is we custom 3D printed a, 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 a rig to be able to hold a camera with the spectrum analyzer on it so that we can read the numbers and then plot on our DJI Bluetooth link where what GPS coordinates we wanted around the tower. So what I'm doing today is just testing our system to make sure that everything works and uh, make sure it flies well and that it's safe. As you can see on our screen here, maybe you can't see, but if you could see, it's looking right at us and uh, we'll be able to read the numbers off it. Now this particular drone's flying a DJI Wukong flight controller and uh, has the ability to read GPS locations off an iPad. Uh, that's something I haven't yet done, but I'm planning on doing today. So what we have here, and you can't exactly see it, is uh, our drone's on a flight path and it's coming towards us. You can see a little black speck. Uh, we've got our path set up on our iPad here. Um, if you can see that, I'm not sure. There it is. Um, it's a four point path and it's on a loop. So it'll just continuously fly that loop and we know the exact GPS location of that loop so that when it comes to rest at the spot that we tell it to, we'll know exactly our reading at that, that area. And uh, this is a pretty basic setup. Our long-term goal is uh, to get probably a Raspberry Pi and maybe a basic Windows computer so that we can track this in real time and have some really good solid data. Uh, but this is just set to give a three second pause at each spot and then move on um, with number two being almost directly overhead wanted to give you guys a look at uh, some of the custom stuff we've done. Uh, we 3D printed a mount for that camera and we have a swing arm that we'll be able to mount that on so that if we're not in the right location um, we can take it and move this camera back and forth and then we have a plate that we got that will allow velcro straps to hold our uh, radio spectrometer. Um, so that's our setup here. So for all of those who are still watching here comes the landing, We've got RC control, so this should be a smoother landing than our previous one which was a little bumpy. Mm -hmm. 